So this is a new and extension video for breathing. Um, the breathing one has been very popular and more requests. There's some important things about um, additional breathing exercises. We have one about inspiration and expiration, but this is some additional tips that can help along. One is about nostril breathing. We do know that there's a lot of health benefits about breathing more through your nose and then breathing through your mouth. So one thing is when you breathe through your nose, you warm your um, air much more through your um, airway, which is more soothing and comforting. And also what is parasympathetic or calming and uh, more soothing. So try to breathe through your nostril when it's possible. So more soothing breaths um, that is in calming and, and soothing to the body. So it, there are a lot of these exercises for breathing do not seem um, normal, familiar, comforting initially, especially when your body is so used to being a more stress, not natural physiologic state of adrenaline. Um, it doesn't, it seems foreign. So nostril breathing is important exercises. There's a lot of evidence about health disorders where there's um, lack of nostril breathing leads to much more um, health arrangement. So you do wanna practice nostril breathing. Simple things if you're sitting there um, in your day or exercising, try and breathe through your nostril in and then blow through your mouth slowly out. Helps, it's very soothing. Um, there's an ancient yoga exercise called nostril breathing. Make sure your hands are clean, but um, push in one nostril, breathe in, breathe out slowly. The same exercise, slow breath in over three to five seconds, and then breathing out, slow expiration over five to eight seconds. So breathing slowly in through nostril, breathing in over three seconds, and then expiration out over five to eight seconds. Because remember that um, with inspiration, your heart rate speeds up because your lungs are filled with oxygen, it puts a resistance, bring blood up to your chest wall. Um, to, for more blood coming to your heart. So your heart rate has to increase to get blood to the rest of your body. So that's why your heart rate increases with inspiration, expiration, your heart rate reduces because there's more room for blood to come up. So nostril breathing gets more soothing breath, parasympathetic, expiration, it also is more parasympathetic. You can optimize that. So really a good thing to do is practice nostril breathing, parasympathetic breathing, um, again, Having good airway nostril breathing is a good way to optimize your parasympathetic, your vagal, and reduce some of your adrenaline tone. Another thing is when people are in high adrenaline state, people don't realize how often, like I just did intentionally, is people hold their breath. Holding your breath is a very common activity. It leads to a lot of tight chest wall, tight neck muscles as a result. So if you pay attention in the day, you will realize how often you will hold your breath. Like this maneuver, it's a very deliberate maneuver I just did, but people will hold their breath. They will often when they're talking, um, will notice that they're not breathing. Um, so really being conscious of that, am I breathing? And making efforts to when you're talking is to breathe in, breathe out, Yes, it does seem odd, but you need to work on this. So making conscious efforts to breathe. Another aspect is with breathing is people often start to, with adrenaline is to pull their shoulders up, force your shoulders down, head back a little, because people start pushing heads forward, it leads to the constant adrenaline neck locking, which causes tightness in those regards. So really try to relax your shoulders, head back, um, another factor leads to some difficulty um, uh, breathing and swallowing is the neck muscles get very tight here. The skeletal muscles get very tight and along with the dryness, you'll get this sort of constricted feeling in the neck. So um, tight muscles of the neck and dryness can lead to difficulty swallowing and um, constricted muscles feeling. Sometimes people feel like a catch or difficulty that level. So again, relaxing the muscles, doing the neck exercises, staying hydrated, treating your underlying adrenaline state, um, making sure you take moments to pause, show that you're okay in the day, show your brain and your nervous system that you're okay, that 
giving pauses shows that you're not in an adrenaline state, helps relax these modalities. And these are some help alongs to show that um, breathing is important and to constantly recalibrate and unwind this adrenaline state. Thank you for listening. And as we always say, we appreciate you.